live from Studio A in the Rose City, it's Shark Bite Improv. And now, here's your host, Nathaniel Patterson. Thank you all very, very much. You at home and our fantastic studio audience here at Studio A in the Rose City. My name is Nathaniel Patterson, and this is Shark Bite Improv. We have five fabulous players for you tonight. We have Ryan. We also have Ryan. We have Jake, Taylor, and Josh. And our very first game is a game called Freeze Tag. And it's for all of the players, so they can all come up. Now, the way Freeze Tag works is that this, we'll start with two people in a scene. So who's going to start the scene? It'll be Josh and Ryan. Excellent. And at any point, any one of the other cast members can say freeze and assume the position of one of these two, tag them out, and start a whole new, entirely different scene. So from you, the audience, can I get a suggestion of a, a place you would not want to be stuck at work? Shoe company. You, shoe company. Your suggestion is shoe company. Scene. <laughs> ah, oh, you all right, Steve? Oh. What? You I okay? Just, uh, trying to make all these shoes as quickly as I can. <laughs> Well, you, 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 my, you, my tiny fingers. You shouldn't be so close to the rat traps, all right? This is not where we make the shoes. So let me just get this box of rat traps over here. The buffer's below. Thank you, Carl. Freeze. <laughs> I made a corn silk doll for you, Father. <laughs> That's great, son. That's great. A corn silk doll. I really appreciate the things that you do with your art. I made it. Freeze. Senior year. <laughs> you can't keep eating my hermit crabs. They're pets. They are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I call it a shit. <laughs> that shell. Shell and all. It was originally a soda can. Because it's a hermit crab and they can live in anything, Tabitha. Well, I painted that well, one, Mike. Well, you use Pactor paint, which is pretty toxic this, to animals. This is why it's not working out. This is why I'm moving out. That's fine. You're my sister. Get out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you're my sister. I don't yeah. want you in my room. Like, we have to live here in this squalid, divorcee dad apartment. Okay. Yeah, but who's fault is that? You dad, said it's dad's fault. You said it, and he said it was... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need the whole pool cleaned. <laughs> and I don't know your working style, but I would like it done quickly <laughs> and well. Mm. Oh, really? Well, that's going to cost extra. To do it well? You mm -hmm. know, that's quickly. not just standard. Freeze. No, it's not. I have more love poems for you, Harold. <laughs> I have quite a few already. Oh, did, you, did you like the last ones I wrote? See, I'm only about three or four into them. They're oh. each about ten pages long. Yeah, I, I, I can, I, it's a leather-bound book. Oh, you bound this one, huh? That's from 1997. All right, let me see. Do you want the 2004 one? How about I read one? the first one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there any particular importance to the first one? Yeah, yeah, it's a haiku. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> let's see here. Freeze. <laughs> oh, I wanted to. I wanted to. I <laughs> tell me. Tell me the poem and I shall write it down. Okay. My quill. All right. Well, it's a love poem for uh, Harold. Wait, I gotta put the... <laughs> is it a quill? It needs ink. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I, I, flip, I flicked some of the ink off when I did oh. the thing. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, now do it. Can, can it be on parchment? Is that okay? I'm going to have to find some sheep, and I'm going to have to flay them alive. Freeze! <laughs> Miss Strobo, you've, you've done terrible things to my flock. The master wanted parchment, and <laughs> that's how you make parchment. It's my crook. Yes, you are a shepherd, Mr. Shepherd. The I know what a shepherd is. <laughs> it's not shearing Grace. time. <laughs> they took little Betty, my, my little sheep. Yes. Maybe flayed her? Alive. <laughs> <laughs> How could you let them do that to her? All I have is a crook! <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like I'm a Batman no It's like I'm a Batman villain. You call that a crook? <laughs> this is a crook! Goosh! <laughs> 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 Got a microphone on, I don't want to fall! Yeah. 
Well, it's like a bishop's crozier. It's so big. <laughs> I can't really shepherd very effectively with this, but it looks cool. You can push a lot of Catholics around with it. <laughs> Priest, good laugh back there. <laughs> hey, uh, look, um, I didn't mean to get sucked into the board game Candyland, but the candy cane force is a little awkward. I just want to get out, okay? I can't give you any advice. I'm just, uh, I'm a side attraction here. Okay, I got double purple. I just wanted to get out. <laughs> this is like Jumanji. It's creeping me out. Freeze. Freeze. Oh, so you come to the gingerbread guild to get out of Candyland. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I was talking to Mr. Plum. That guy's nuts. Okay. <laughs> He's technically a professor. I know. He would... <laughs> I thought that was Clue. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, the point is, he got me running around. In order to move, I keep having to draw cards out of nowhere. It's getting really oh, awkward. Oh, there's one. Oh, Cut. come on. Jesus. Go where? back three spaces. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Look, I just need to get out, okay? You don't understand. All right? It's a little terrifying. There's that whole mud pit thing that's apparently made of chocolate. All right. <laughs> Still stuck in candy. You know, I live in a glass house and I will throw stones. <laughs> it's glass candy. Don't, please don't know. You don't understand. I lost my brother in the, in the, like, the mud pit, the chocolate smoke. It's delicious and so was he. Wait, <laughs> Princess Lollipop is kind of a whore. She came on to me. Things yeah, have been awkward. Well, she's European royalty. They're all sort of <laughs> inbred and whorish. Come on. All right, look. You got it. Was that, oh, ooh, yellow? Yellow. Oh. Would you, lemon drop? There oh, we, there you go. Is it? This isn't like the toxic ones that I found in the lollipop world. That is a choice you must make in this world. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> Daniel, could you have given me a tinier teacup? <laughs> <laughs> if you so insist. No, it was sarcasm. Doc, Daniel. <laughs> Just put it next to the other seven that are on my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like, there, it's like a little Russian nest and I'll just go oh, here. The Thank you one. for the tiniest one. Thank you. <laughs> I got them from Russia, like nesting dolls with cups. There's they love tea in Russia. There's not even any liquid in here, Daniel. <laughs> it's, it's an idea. I think <laughs> <it's> <laughs> Hey, so March Hare, when Alice gets here, we got to act just totally nuts, all right? It's got to really, it's got to be, you got to sell it. You know, I went to Juilliard just for this purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, I got my degree in economics from Yale. And yeah. Please. Agnes, are you quite finished with your cross stitch? <laughs> I, I, was, I was working on it. You, you wanted sheep's wool. Sheep's coal. Oh. I believe you misunderstood what I said, Agnes. Do, co do sheep mine coal? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a play on words. It's oh. going to be rather creative, and we're going to sell it. Like a Wordsworth a poem. <laughs> <laughs> like a Wordsworth poem. Agnes, your sheep have been producing crap for coal. You need to work them harder in the coal mines. Here's my curvy. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. Very nice. <laughs> Keeps going, doesn't it? It's rather elaborate. <laughs> well, phrase. <laughs> you drove my family out of business with your coal mining sheep? <laughs> and you had that parchment poem writer with the long, with the quill that didn't hold ink? You had him kill my daughter's lamb, Agnes. <laughs> it was you. You seem very rude about this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> curvy straw. Okay, I'm out of it. Oh, I, I dropped my tiny. It's rather non-threatening, really, but it's the point. <laughs> Got a tiny one. Well, you're the longest person to stay at old man pole dancing. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna teach you the twisty. <laughs> so right. gotta get up to the top. I've got a bunch of wooden nickels from the turn of the century. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when I get to the top, people say I look like a sloth. <laughs> you be the judge of that. I like sloths. Cause you know what I like? Gray hair. <laughs> okay. Freeze. Oh, damn, I was going to make another joke. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, baby. Now, remember, when those old ladies come in, we got to be dancing up and down the pole. 
I took this for five years, po old man pole dancing. Right. I don't know how it works. I own this <laughs> club, Jonathan. all right? No, no. I was the old man club? Yeah. Mm. I've, been, I've owned this club for 35 years. Back then it was a young man's pole dancing. That's pretty hot. But that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> the folds in your skin are wrapping around, though. Let's <laughs> <start up>. And <laughs> see! That's oh, I got that dizzy. One. That's not good. <laughs> the folds in your skin are a wrapping around the pole. <laughs> Only the finest. Only visual. the finest here in Portland for, for free.